Video Studio Pro X7, now that it comes in the 64-bit version, they really geared everything to work with high definition or ultra HD uh, videos or photos. So what they've done in the graphics tab, let's go to the graphics tab, they've given you two new categories, background and color patterns. Now let's just go back to the background first. So background here. So as you can see, they give you some nice photos in the library to begin with, but I can always add my own to it. Now, first thing I need to remember that every one of these photos is high resolution, 1920 by 1080. So I want to make the same photo. So I'm going to use a photo that I got off NASA. Oh no, I didn't call them up. <laughs> you can go and off the website. So I'm going to go back into my own library. And here's this photo here. So if I was to now just click on that, it, the photo looks really nice, but what you don't see is it's not fitting to my project size. My project size is 1920 by 1080. And I'll show you something. I go settings, preferences, and I'm going to change the background. So as you can see now, um, I have letterboxing, and this is not what I need, or this is not what I want. So I've got to have to change it. So I can do it this way. I can drag it in onto my footage, double click, and now in Pro X7, they give me my resampling options. So I keep SPEC ratio, or I can keep SPEC ratio, but no letterbox. So it zooms right in on the picture. So that's one way of doing. But I wish to use this photo maybe for background or other projects. So I'm going to use PaintShop Pro to adjust this photo so that I can then import it into my library, my background library, and be a permanent feature of the background library. So let's do that. Let's go to PaintShop Pro. And here we are. So you can see I've already imported my picture. And if I look at the bottom right hand corner, I can see the actual size of this picture. So first thing I need to do, I need to resize this photo. I'm not going to resize the photo itself. I'm going to resize the canvas. So let's go to image. And you'll see here canvas size. In width and height, just add in the dimensions width 1920 by 1080 and then press OK. So now if you go to the bottom right hand corner, you'll see that the new dimension is 1920 by 1080. Now before I save this, I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to use the enhanced photo feature, one step photo fix. And as you can see, it really brought out the blues and popped out the yellows. And I really like that feature. It instantly enhances my photo. All we need to do now is uh, save it and then bring it back into Video Studio. So go to File, Export, JPEG Optimizer. Um, leave the compression at 1 and then press OK. And then just choose where you wish to save it. In my case, I'm going to call it Background and save it in my Background folder. Keeps everything nice and tidy. Let's go back into Video Studio. In the Graphics tab, go back into the Background. So drop down menu, background, and now just use the little folder icon here, search for the folder that you stored your image, here it is, BG, and open. And voila, I've now added a brand new background to the background library. Now you've seen how easy it was to do in background in PaintShop Pro and Corel Video, how easy they work together. So if you wish to add a color pattern, you would do the exact same procedure, only then create a color pattern within PaintShop Pro. Now, I uh, will show you one more thing here, frames. Frames are slightly different, so I'm going to go back to PaintShop Pro, and I'll show you a very important feature that you need to do to utilize the frames. So PaintShop Pro, I no longer need this picture, so I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to, I am going to create a new canvas. Here we go. So, same thing, 1920 by 1080, and press OK. So here we are, new canvas and fresh start. So let's create the frames. Go to image, and here you'll see picture frames. Is that easy? So now I have my picture frame menu. I left click on this icon here, and this will open up the category of all the picture frames that I have in my PaintShop Pro. So let's pick something very simple. This one will do fine, and then press OK. So there you go, instantly added a picture frame to my canvas. I don't need the background layer anymore, so I'm simply going to delete that one. Right click and delete. And all I need to do now is save this in a PNG format. So I go to File, Save As, and then choose PNG. In the drop-down manual, it's third from the bottom, PNG. 
and then just give it a name and the folder where you wish to save it. Press save. And let's go back into Video Studio. So here we are, I'm already in the frame library. So it's simple, like before, use the folder icon and here is my new frame. So I've instantly added that into the frame library and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. And there you go, voila, it is that easy.